All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to our class. Today is additional science class, okay? And uh, as I was saying, today we're going to have the quiz, but before that, let us have the review first, okay? So last time we've been studying about ecosystem, right? Uh, let us have first, uh, what is ecosystem, okay? Can I have uh, my students to read this one for me, please? Hello, Jean. Can you turn your mic off, please, Jean, for a while? Hello. Yeah. All right. So can I have, I'd like to have Chertam. Hello, Chertam. Can you read the meaning of ecosystem, please, Chertam? Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you read this for me, please? Um, it's made up of mm. all living things. <laughs> Okay, All okay. living and non-living, living in an area. All right, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so when we say ecosystem, this is made up of all living things and non-living things. Okay, last time we have said these are the two factors. Up, we have said we have biotic and abiotic. Okay, biotic means living things or the living components and abiotic meaning the non-living things you still remember can you give me example of biotic components okay in an ecosystem can i call q hello q can you give me example of biotic components in an ecosystem q hi q yes okay can you give us example please Fish. fish okay what else tree tree okay yeah, some more do you have some more fish tree elephant elephant okay thank you so much that's three already okay very good uh q thank you so that is biotic component meaning the living things of or in an ecosystem all right what about abiotic abiotic meaning the non-living things in an ecosystem all right i'd like to call oi hello oi can you give us example of abiotic at least three also oi hello oi are you here? Yes. Okay. At least three example of abiotic also, meaning the non-living things in an ecosystem. Water. Water. Uh, uh, and rock. A rock. Okay. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. At least you still remember. Okay. Water, um, air, rock. Okay. Thank you. That is correct. That uh, those are a biotic uh, component of an ecosystem. Right. So we will proceed. It means that you still remember the biotic and the biotic component uh, of an ecosystem. Right. Okay. So let us proceed here. Um. I will, I will uh, escape this one, skip, I will skip this one. Okay, so let us proceed here, the re uh, ecological relationship, okay? So the first one, we have predation, right? The first ecological relationship is called predation, okay? In here, this is uh, the types of ecological um, relationships here. We have uh, predation, right? Or predator-prey relationship, okay? So in here, relationship, uh, this is a relationship between a predator and the prey species, okay? So we have mentioned here the predator and the prey, okay? So what is the difference between these two, right? So when we say predator, this is the animal that is uh, the killer, right? The hunter and the eater, okay? The type of animal which kill, which hunts, and which eats another animal, okay? Whereas on the other hand, we have the prey, okay? So this is the kind of animal or the type of animal uh, which is being attacked or being eaten by another animals, 
Okay, so in here, predator prey uh, relationship, we have two types. Okay, for example, uh, we have here on the picture a uh, pre predator prey relationship between the cat and the rat. Okay, so in this case, since the rat is the killer and the hunter and the eater, uh, sorry, uh, since uh, the cat, okay, I mean the cat, since the cat is the killer, uh, the hunter and the eater, therefore it is the predator. Okay, and then since the rat, okay, the rat is the one being attacked or being eaten by the cat, therefore the rat is the prey, right? Also, in the next example, between uh, the bird and the grasshopper, right? So in here, since the bird is the hunter, therefore the bird is the predator, and the grasshopper is the one being eaten, therefore it is the prey, okay? Another one. I have here another example on the next slide, please, all right? So between the ladybug and uh, the aphids. Okay, so this one is the ladybug. This one is uh, eating the insects, okay, called the aphids in here. So therefore, the ladybug is the predator and the aphids are the prey. Okay, what about uh, between the crocodile and the deer in this uh, next picture, right? So since the crocodile is eating the deer, so therefore, the crocodile is the predator and the deer is the hunter, all right? All right? Okay, next. Another one is called uh, competition, okay? The second ecological uh, relationship is called competition, okay? Competition um, is an ecological relationship in which the organisms compete. They are competing or fighting, okay? They are fighting for resources like food, land, water, and then mates, right? They are fighting, okay? And there are two kinds of competition, uh, competition, okay? There are two kinds of competition. What are those? The first one is intraspecific. The second one is interspecific, okay? Intra, it means between or within the same species, like the same bird. But when we say interspecific, two different uh, species, like between the lions and the hyenas. Okay, the lions and the hyenas, they are fighting for food. It means that it is interspecific. Okay, let us have here in this example. Okay, this one, the one that I, I have circled. Um, Yok, hello, Yok. What kind of. Uh, Competition we have here. Yok. Hello, Yok. Yes. Uh, here, what kind of uh, competition do we have here? Is it interspecific or intraspecific? Interspecific. All right, that is correct, Yok. Inter because uh, the crocodile and the cheetah are fighting. Okay, they are fighting for the prey, which is the zebra okay what about in here the second one what kind of competition is this Xinjiang hello Xinjiang are you here Xinjiang hello Xinjiang yes. yes Xinjiang okay what kind of competition do we have here is it interspecific or intraspecific inter specific inter all right, is it inter? Uh -huh. Inter. When we say inter, two different um, species, right? Uh, what are uh, what animals are fighting here, um, Qinjiang? What animals are fighting? Cat. Cat. How many animals? How many kinds of animals? Uh, kind of. Yeah. Chai, how many kinds? There are how many cats in here? Three. Three cats. And do you see any other animal aside from cat? No. 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 Okay, so it means they are fighting. They are the same species, right? Um, Xinjiang, when you say uh, there are the same animals uh, fighting, we call it intraspecific. 
Okay? We call it intraspecific. Okay? Tinjak? Intra. All right? Thank you so much. Okay? Thank you. So the first one here, we have interspecific because this one, um, the, the crocodile and the cheetah are fighting. Okay? These are, are two different kinds of animals okay that's why this is called interspecific and in here number two uh, we have the three cats are fighting for the food okay the food so in this case they are the same animals the same cats okay so therefore it is called intraspecific okay inter and intra okay nakap you understand Okay, so this are, uh, these are two ecological relationships because the next one, uh, the next kind of relationship is called symbiotic relationship, okay? Symbiosis or symbiotic relationship, okay? There are three of them, okay? There are three of them. What are those? We have commensalism, what else? Mutualism and parasitism, right? Commensalism, uh, mutualism, and parasitism. These three are called symbiotic relationship or symbiosis, meaning they have um, close physical association, right? They have close physical association with each other, okay? Let us have the first one. Commensalism, okay? So in here, Commensalism. Uh, hello, Jean. Jean, number 14, can you turn your mic on, please, Jean? Hello, Jean. Are you here? Jean? All right. I think something is wrong with the microphone of Jean. Um, how about Gawin? Hello, Gawin. Can you turn your mic on, please, Gawin? Hello, Gawin. Oh, uh, Jean and Gawin are not here. <laughs> okay, let me call. Uh, where is, uh, is someone here? Hello, Namwan. Namwan? Yes. Yes, num one. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you read this for me, please? Can you read num one? It is. Uh, just follow me. Uh, num one. It is a relationship. Hello, num one. Just follow me, num one. It is. Hello. All right. So I think something is wrong. Something uh, has gone wrong with the microphone of num1. Uh, let me call um, Ying. Hello, Ying. Are you here, Ying? Ying. <laughs> Hello, Ying. <laughs> okay. Ying is not here. Uh, I'd like to call... Um, Plume, hello, Plume. Uh, I, I think Plume is yes. here. Plume? Yes. Yes, okay, Plume. Can you read this one for me, please, Plume? It is a relationship in which one organism that is benefit after it becomes harm. All right, thank you so much. Okay, Plume, thank you. Okay, so when we say commensalism, okay, it is a symbiotic relationship in which one organism is benefited, okay, and the other is not harmed, okay? The other is not harmed. Okay, we have here, for example, uh, between the frog and the leaves or the plant, okay? So the 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 frog is benefited because it is hiding, okay? It is hiding on the leaves of the plants, but the plants, uh, the plant is not harmed, okay? The plant is not harmed, okay? In here, another one, 
the bird and what is this? The bird and the cattle. Okay, the the bird and the cattle. Okay, so the the bird uh, gains benefit. Uh, the gain uh, the birds gain benefit, but the cattle are not harmed. Okay, we call that commensalism, right? Or uh, what is what is one here? We have the the shark. The shark is not harmed. And the, the remora fish is uh, gaining benefit, right? That is commensalism. Another one, number two, we have mutualism. Okay, mutualism. I'd like to call um, Chertam again. Hello, Chertam. Can you turn your mic on, please? Yes. Hello, Chertam. Can you read this one for me? It is relationship in which what organism are benefit, but they become mutually dependent on each other. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, this is also a kind of symbiotic relationship. Okay, uh, we're in. Uh, both organisms are benefited, okay? They both gain benefit, okay? And they are dependent from each other, okay? For example, very common example, okay? So uh, the, the bee, okay, the bee is not harmed, but the bee also gain benefit, okay? They gain food from the flower, and then also the flower gain benefit from, from the bee, okay? Both of them, they are not harmed, okay? They are not harmed. And they depend from each other. The bee depend from the flower and the flower depends from the bee, okay? What else? We also have here the fish and the anemone, this one, okay? So the fish is hiding, okay? Hiding on the anemones. And then the anemones, uh, the fish on the other hand is uh, taking the food in here, right? They bring, the fish brings the food to the animal, right? Same with here uh, between the crocodile and the bird, okay? This is a mutual relationship, mutualism, right? Next, another one, parasitism, okay? This is the last one, okay? Last one, where is Yok? Hello, Yok, number seven. Can you read this last one for me, please? It is a relationship in which the pa parasite is benefit, but the host may be harmed. Okay, parasite. Okay, they are, these animals here or insects here are called parasites. Okay, parasites. They gain benefit. The parasites gain benefit, but the host, meaning the host is uh, the animal in which the parasite lives, okay? Like, if, let's say if this uh, lice live in my hair, okay, the insect is the parasite and me, uh, I am the host, okay? So the parasite gain benefit, but me uh, maybe, okay, maybe harm, okay, maybe harm if there are a lot of parasite in my hair, okay? Okay, so this is parasitism. Okay, example we have here, um, this one, okay. Inside uh, our intestine, inside our stomach, right? So because we have two kinds of parasite. The first one is ectoparasite. They live on the host's bodies, like on the hair, skin, okay, of uh, organisms like animals. And the other one is endoparasite, okay? Endoparasite live inside, okay? They live inside the body of organisms, okay? Such as animals and uh, including us, people, all right? So these are the three types of symbiotic relationship. Again, commensalism, uh, mutualism, and parasitism, all right? Three types of symbiotic relationship okay so let us answer this one first before we go with the quiz right uh, where is that 
Uh, not that one. Patnong na kap. Okay, this one. Okay, let's answer this one first. Okay, uh, we have answered this one already last time, but let's answer this one again. Okay, the first one, uh, you can type on the chat box your answer. Choose whether predation, competition, commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism. Right? Uh, let's try to answer again. Number one, crocodile and the bird. Okay, crocodile and the bird. Okay, what kind of uh, relationship is that? Okay, that, there's a one answer here. Plume said it's. How about the other? Okay, plume answered already. It's. How about the other students? Plume, ing. Okay, that is correct. Plume and ing. The crocodile and the bird. Okay. Yok, okay, yok, that is also correct, yok, okay? The correct answer is mutualism, okay? Between the crocodile and the bird, we have mutualism. Very good, excellent. Uh -huh. Next, number two. Number two, this one, okay? What kind of relationship is this, okay? The two hyenas are fighting, okay? The two hyenas are fighting, is it predation, competition, commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism? Okay, a, a Q answered also. Okay, uh, next, number two. Plume, all right, plume, correct. That is correct, plume. What else? Ing, all right, ing, that is also correct. What else? What's this? Oh, a uh, specific answer. Yok said, uh, but is this an uh, inter? Uh, yok. Remember, these are two same organism, right? These are hyenas. Okay. Okay. Oi. Okay. It is intraspecific. Okay. That is correct. But uh, you are also correct. Um, plume. Uh, Ing, this is competition, but uh, yes, this is competition because we're, we're just asking about this one, the kind of relationship. But some of your classmates, very good, na, they answered inters, uh, intra specific. Okay, so yok, this is intra specific according to oi, and yes, intra specific oi, because the two uh, same species are fighting. Okay, they are fighting for food. Okay. Next, how about between the gazelle and the spider? Okay, the gazelle and the spider. Are they harmed? Gazelle and the spider. Um, I'd like to call Q. Hello, Q. Number three, Q. Gazelle and the spider. What kind of uh, relationship is this, Q? Hello, Q. Is this choose from commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism? Okay, because this is a symbiotic relationship. Q. <laughs> Q is not answering here. Okay. Uh huh. Yok has an answer. Uh, Plume has an answer. All right. So that is correct. Plume, uh, Yok, that is. Commensalism, all right? Commensalism, very good, okay? Next, next one. How about this one? Okay, how about this one? What's the answer? Oh, you can answer, but you can use your microphone. It's easier. Um, Oi, hello, Oi. <laughs> okay, Plume has an answer already. I'd like to call Plume. Okay, what's your answer, Plume? That is correct, okay? Tell parasitism. Parasitism. All right. Very good. Na, huh? Next. Okay. Last four. This one. What is this? Um, a, a bear. A bear. Okay. What's this? Um, where is Jean? Is Jean here? I, I cannot uh, hear Jean. 
All right, Yok. Hello, Yok. Hello, yes. Yok. Yok. What is this? What kind of relationship? The bear and the fish. This one is? Predation. Predation, correct. And Q also is correct. All right, next. Let us make it fast. Okay, so that we can have the quiz. Okay, the bird and the zebra. Hello, oi. Hello, oi. The bird and the zebra, oi. Yes. What is this? What kind of relationship is this? Same with this. Okay, the same answer. Same answer. Ah, sorry, sorry. This one is mutualism, okay? My child is same. same. This one is mutualism. But this one is, oi? This one symbiotic. is? Symbiotic. Symbiotic, But what kind of symbiotic relationship? What kind? There are three, right? Commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism. This one is? Co? Yes, Bloom. It is? Commensalism. Okay, commensalism. Oy. Okay, thank you. Okay, let, let's make it fast na. Okay, the worm. Okay, this one, the worm. Chinjang. Hello, Chinjang. Are you here? Chinjang? Yes. Okay, Chinjang. This one. What kind of relationship? Horn, worm, and the wasp. Choose from three commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism. This is uh, mutualism. Mutualism. Okay, you think it's mutualism? It means that they are both gaining benefit. Okay, but in here, the wasp. Okay, the hornworm and the wasp. Okay, the the relationship is kind of parasitism, right? parasitism okay the worm is a parasite in here okay the worm is a parasite last one okay last one this one the lion and the lioness how about gawin hello gawin last one i'd like gawin to answer the last one competition plume okay gawin are you here hello gawin Okay, Gawin is not here. Last one, um, Q. <laughs> Q. Hello, Q. Yes. Ah, uh, last one, Q. What is the relationship here? What kind of relationship? The lion, the the male and the female lion. They are fighting. What kind of relationship? It's uh -huh, Q. Competition, right? Competition. Okay. So maybe they are fighting for food in here, right? They are fighting for food. Competition. Okay. So these are the different kind of um, ecological relationship. Okay. So we have the first one, predation. Number two, competition. Okay, in the three ones, the, the, the next three are called symbiotic relationship. Okay, we have three commensalism, parasitism, and mutualism. All right? You understand? You understand? These are the different kinds of ecological relationship that we have in the ecosystem. Okay, so do you have a question? Do you have any questions, students? Let's see who are here. How, how many students do I have today? Um, I can see that. Let me check again before we proceed with the quiz. Um, I can see that Fa is here. Okay, so it means um, only two students are not here, right? Tell me, are you here, uh, Mio and Seaweed? Mio and Seaweed, are you here? Mio and Seaweed? Not here. 
Okay, so only two students are absent today, right? So I'm going to stop this one, Nakap, because we're going to proceed with the quiz now, okay? So you wait, I'm going to post the link in our line group, okay? So that is only, I think, um, 12 questions, very easy questions, just like this one, uh, all about predation, competition, commensalism, parasitism, or mutualism, okay? So let me stop this one.